It means everything. Uh, I mean, I've watched these guys like when I was little, just seeing them on TV, it's what I wanted to do. This is the next big step you know, in my bowling career. You know, I've won two national titles now. It's always been a goal to win a major, and uh, to do that, you've got to make a major show. When I won my first major, it was time to set a new goal, and that goal is to get into the Hall of Fame and to get those credentials. It's 10 titles or five with two majors, and this will be that second major. The World Championship is um, one of the two majors that I, I haven't won. Uh, they're very important to me, so uh, to qualify second this week and um, to give myself a chance to tick those off the list is, is obviously really important. Of course the majors means a little bit more than the rest of them. Um, but you know, it's still 10 frames away from, from another major victory, so I just need to try to do as good as I can in those 10 frames. <laughs> World Series of Bowling continues to grow in prestige and uh, and the moments that it delivers. It's really incredible when you think about the number of people that come from all over the world to compete in this event and to get to the main event, the PBA World Championship, and see the five players that made it through 60 games across four different patterns. Maybe the greatest strike balls in the history of the game when you think of Belmo. Usually, hooking the ball early is not not a great plan, so more than likely going to try and play straight, maybe use a bit of urethane, see what happens. It's going to be a good show, I think, for me personally, just try to do my own thing, all 10 good shots. Whoever's going to make it through the 2-5 to five match is going to be a really tough match, and I really need a, to step up my game and, and bowl it almost a great like almost a perfect game to, to, to win this thing. Ryan Simonelli. Depends what he does the first match. He's throwing some urethane and some reactive, so it's going to be really hard to say if the front's going to be hooking or if maybe I'm going to have a little shape down lane. Um, that's going to dictate what type of layout I use. Most likely a Forza SS, but uh, we got about eight of them to choose from. When you think of a guy like Kyle Troop, he might have the most personality of any player we've ever seen. I think we're going with a little bit of a different game plan today. Uh, chameleon and qualifying, we did, you know, hooking the whole lane. Obviously, I'm not really going to want to do that on TV, so we're thinking urethane. Uh, the gutter's already a little tight, and we still have to do the re-oil. So it may be my slow alpha, but it's going to be straighter, straighter angles, you know, so I can feel more comfortable. And. Uh, Speed control, you know, that's been a big thing all week. The only guy that's old school, really, in the field that made the finals is a 22-year-old from Indiana who's probably going to be the rookie of the year in the PBA, Matt Sanders. Uh, right now it looks like urethane. Uh, got some surface on a couple balls, and uh, we'll see which ball to pick from there. Yeah, but that's good. Just if, if it doesn't read early, it's going to read in a different spot every time. You got to play the front of the lane more than you play the back. I think I think the two year thing balls are the safest play. Since the first match, maybe I'll throw the strong one, and then as it goes on, you throw the weak one. It's going to be a great show. Super action packed. We're lucky to have Belmo and Vincent on the show at the same time, and we're lucky to have a TV friendly bowler in Kyle Troop, rookie of the year, likely in Matt Sanders. And oh, Ryan Simonelli strikes the heck out of it from the left side. Hey, there's a lot to watch here. I'm just going to pick the one I think. I have the biggest chance to strike the most on, and um, that means I'm going to be tough to beat. 39 feet of Chameleon. Jesper Svensson won his first ever title in the States on this pattern two years ago. From Evansville, Indiana, Matt Sanders! From Taylorsville, North Carolina, the number four seed, Kyle True. Let's go, baby! And Sanders is fighting right back. And again, just...
just punishing the pins. Big shot here. Beauty. That was the biggie. He doesn't lose count, so if he spares here, it's 249, and it still forces Matt Sanders to double. Messing. Oh my goodness, I thought that 10 pin might go down. Got to make this. Uh -oh. That's a huge miss. Strike nine spare for Matt Sanders. We have a tie. Well, he handles it pretty well. And a hook. And Not Not this one. Yep. Solid. We have a tie. Ladies and gentlemen, by PBA rule, this tie must be decided by a one ball sudden death roll off. Troop advances. With seven PBE Tour titles and one major, Ryan Simonelli! And there is power. Missed it. Yeah, it never did turn I over. Just raw power that time from Simonelli. Look out. Oh, oh, another man. miss spare. Great shot. You're right. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. One more strike here. Simonelli moves on to take on Jason Belmonte. Wide. And a 10 pin stays. All important fill shot. He strikes here, he forces Kyle Troop to get all three. Shoot. Bring in seven. This has to be a strike. One down, one to go. This has to be a strike. It's light and it's not enough. And Ryan Simonelli will advance with 15 PBA Tour titles and eight majors, the number two seed, Jason Belmonte! Be right. Yeah. It was, wow. it's a death. What's his bar going to be like? Light there. One behind there. And light again, a lot of action on the okay, pins. So but we're right in the middle of those two. I'd yeah. say that was aggressive. Jason Belmonte is in a world of trouble because Ryan Simonelli's ball reaction is really good right now. Well, there was a little bit of a move by Belmo, and he comes in with his first strike. He is definitely amped up to speed. Right. Great shot. Yeah. He stayed with what he knew that ball was going to do and immediately jumped into this one this game. Yeah. Well, he's found his shot, but is it too late? Carry. It did. Yes. Seven pin. A little late, but down it goes. But you're not beating that right now. Tip a lot. Gotta have it. Gets it! Six in a row! Gotta hurry. There it is again. Yes. Great action. Seven messenger yes. down you go! How about that 10th frame? How about the last eight? My goodness. Simonelli needs a double nine. Anything less. Belmonte bowls for his ninth major title. We're not finished yet. It is! Wow. Nine for the win. Eight, we have a tie. Look out. Oh no! We have a tie. For a moment, 
he had lost it, yep. but it's a tie for the second time on this championship. By PBA rule, this tie must be broken by a one ball sudden death roll off. Got a hook. Andy oh. leaves a seven behind. Get those hits, get those ones. Ace, baby, that's ace. Oh, no, it's God. not, and Belmo advances. Belmo advances. Oh, that was so good. The number one seed with seven PBA Tour titles in one major from Gothenburg, Sweden, Jesper Spitzay. And starting off on the left lane that he finished on, Belmo gets it going with a strike. Through the nose and early trouble for the Swede. Matt Sanders throwing urethane in game one, followed by Simonelli's two games and his high rev rate throwing reactive. Well, there you go. That's the yes percentage we are well aware of. And he just mixed them all up right there. Yes! Expensive yes. cheetah, attack it in the scorpion. And Four in a row. Yep. Oh. It's as if he took a knife and just chopped him in half. Half ten in the fourth, two eight in the sixth on this right lane. And that's an odd leave. It's sharp. Yes. Yeah. He loves that left lane. Oh, very light. And a five left behind. Belmonte can strike out and win this. Belmonte needs the first hit and counts. He had to have it and he got it. Just watch professional bowling history. Jason Belmonte is the first player ever to win three championships, three major championships in the same year. Show, Jesper, Kyle, Ryan, and Matt Sanders, they put on an amazing show. So, great bowling, incredible bowling. Professional bowling has got a great future. It's awesome right now and it keeps getting better. And uh, this guy has been rewriting the, the, the record books for uh, years. Uh, and uh, he, he's one of the big reasons the World Series of Bowling even became. And now we're in our ninth year and he got this for the first time and we always knew he was going to win it. 
Uh, it also comes along with sixty thousand dollars. So congratulations. You missed them. Hey, I'm Mr. Bill Christmas. Like Tom said, if you did not enjoy this show, you're uh, you're not a Bowling fan. There was some really great Bowling going on, and uh, I have a really hard time because the, the last match I got two people that.